Marcy. Hi. Hi. I, I'm sorry I didn't call first. What? I know that you're having Marco's graduation party. I don't mean to disturb you. Oh, right. You came to see Marco? No. No, I came to see you. I, I was hoping that we could talk. What are you doing here? What, you think you're the only one who can't handle graduation? Heard you got busted at prom. Yeah, your counselor and her sidekick called the cops on me. So what, you like out on bail or something? Oh, please. My father's lawyers made mince me out of the cops. They couldn't make it stick. I didn't have anything on me. Hey, you know your date was acting like she was on something. Lola? Yeah, she was daring to dream, all right. So what'd you give her? Why? You interested? to take care of my guests. That is a lawsuit waiting to happen. Take care of it. Yes, ma'am. Thank ma you. Yes, ma'am. <sighs> you really think she's okay? You heard her. She's fine. We both know what this is about. Not you mean who? Do you think Ray knows how much he hurt her? Hell hath no fury like Dorian Scorn. Dr. Lord, uh, one moment, please. Ah, thank you very much. You could just uh, take that. Oh, the house is straight in there. I'm sorry. The kitchen. Can't anybody follow simple uh, Gloria, instructions? Uh, this is Mr. and Mrs. Rivera, Marco's parents. Oh, of course. Bienvenidos. Mi casa is su casa. Mr. Manning's case for custody rests on his claim that the McBain marriage is a sham. He has, however, offered no credible proof, leaving the court no choice wait but minute, to grant wait, wait, custody. Wait, I have one more witness. Your Honor, please. Mr. Manning, I am ruling, and you are shutting up. There's my witness right there, Your Honor. Hey, Your Honor, you're familiar with Ted Delgado, right? You're actually going to make me testify? Yeah, I don't have a choice at this point. Blair's winning. I will be disbarred. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not going to lose my kids. Come join us, Ms. Delgado. Bailiff, please swear in, Ms. Delgado. Your Honor, this goes directly to procedure. I'm sorry. Come in. Oh, thank you. Talk in the living room. Was well, there anywhere more private, maybe? Don't worry about it. Everyone's near the pool. Are you okay? Yeah, I mean, it's just I, I, I don't want us to be disturbed. What is this about? I, I really think that we should talk alone, if that's okay. Okay. Oh. We can talk in my bedroom. Would that be all right? Perfect, yeah. Okay. Dr. Lord, so kind of you to host this party for our son. Oh, nonsense. Marco's practically like one of the family. Well, but still, we wanted to bring something as a thank you. The kids love Aurelia's churros. You brought churros? Uh, yeah, um, they're like donuts. I know what a churro is. In fact, I'm sure you know Carlota Vega. She owns the Buenos Dias Cafe in Angel Square. Oh, the best flan in town. When she worked here for me, I, I practically raised her sons. This is so kind of you. It's no trouble. Let me take those for you. Good. 
I'll put them in the kitchen. Uh, don't you want them out here? It's too early to bring out dessert. Put them in the kitchen next to the gato and torpedo rolls. Of course. Mm -hmm. Okay, Dorian, can I talk to you for In a second? moment, darling. Mr. and Mrs. Rivera, you must be so proud of your son. He's a good boy. You're too modest. Valedictorian. All the credit goes to Aurelia. How many hours did you spend studying with Geraldo? Who? Dad, I told you, people call me Marco. When will you learn to be proud of who you are? Geraldo Rivera? Oh. <laughs> no, 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 it's a, it's a fine name. It was my father's name. Of course. And, oh, I cannot wait to toast Geraldo Rivera and the mark that he is going to make on the world. Oh, my goodness, where are my manners? You don't have any champagne. Oh, it won't be necessary. Oh, absolutely necessary. This is my a party wife, and wife, I My wife and I, we don't drink. Oh, no problem. I'll get you some sparkling water. Sean, for goodness sakes, can you see why the waiters are not circulating? I'm coming right up. Thank you. And, and uh, lime or lemon? Lime. lime. Uh, make sure they bring lime and lemon at the same time. Thank you. I can't wait to propose a toast to Geraldo Rivera. Ms. Elgato, can you confirm that you were Mrs. McBain's legal representation the last time this case was heard? I was. And would you say you did everything in your power to win that case? I did the job to the best of my ability. Huh. And what, uh, what exactly did that entail? I'm not sure I understand the question. Let me be more specific. Please. Did you advise your client that she'd have a better chance of securing custody of her children if she was in a committed relationship? I informed Ms. McBain as to the vulnerabilities in her case. And did you advise her to remedy that vulnerability by marrying John McBain in a hastily arranged wedding ceremony in Landview Hospital? If you are insinuating that I played some sort of matchmaker. Now, I'm asking if you aided and abetted the perpetration of a fraud, Miss Delgado. Is that clear enough for you? I don't want anything. Yeah, right. You're one of my best customers. Not lately. I'm off that stuff. I'm trying to get my life back together. Sorry about your diploma. What? Oh, all this talk about going out in the real world and... And you can't even get out of high school. I'm only a couple credits shy, okay? I'll make it up in summer school. Hey, I almost forgot. Congrats, man. About what? I, I didn't graduate, remember? No, no, not that. About your kid. I heard they found her. Yeah, they did. Well, where is she now? Star and I gave her up for adoption. Oh, yeah? Because I remember when you, when you thought she bit it. And what a bummer. Must suck to get her back. Just have to give her up again. I'm sorry, am I, am I bringing you down? It's a really cute outfit. Yeah. <laughs> you know, she didn't fuss at all when I put it on her. Yeah. I think she's gonna be one of those girly girls who loves to get dressed in the morning. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> she said she had a good night. Yeah. <laughs> I was worried she'd be scared. New room, new crib, new parents. Yeah. She did fine, but I'm the one having the problem. <laughs> <laughs>